Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to print your own images for bottle cap toppers for hair bows. I got these from Aliexpress, you can get them in all different colours, you can get them in metal or plastic. These ones in particular are metal ones and I'm using white today for my project. And I've never tried this before, as a glossy accents and as a clear dimensional medium. It's almost like a... It's like an epoxy. It says here it's good for stamping and scrapbook and dries to a hard, clear, glossy finish. Fine tip for precise application. It takes 15 to 60 minutes to dry, which isn't too bad. Um, if needed, clear the tip with a pin. That's what I do with my other glue. You've seen me do that before. This was about three pounds something for this. Only five fluid ounces. It is a tiny little bottle. But I wanted to buy the small one first to try it out. Basically, I used to buy these from AliExpress. So what you do is you print out your image, you glue it in, and then you pull off one of these and you stick it on the top of your image. And that dome gives like a sort of brings the image out, like zooms it in sort of thing. It's hard to explain. But... Um, I just find that they're not trustworthy. I've been sticking them on and my little girl's got a couple of hair bows because she's my guinea pig. Before I sell bows, I like to make them for her first to see how they would stand. And I just sometimes find that these, sometimes they'll stick, sometimes they don't. And I don't want to obviously sell hair bows with these on, worrying that they're going to fall off. So that's when I came across this. So this is what I'm going to try today for the first time. So we'll see how this turns out. I found this website. I googled basically um, royalty free or uh, commercial use images. And I found this website called webstockreview.net. And there's images on here which say that you can use for commercial use, which means you can print them and obviously use them in your crafts to sell. So I'm searching for fairy clipper because that's the theme of the bow that I want to make because I've got some sort of angel or fairy ring, ring embellishments that I've been wanting to try out for a while. So I'm just going to look through these fairy images. There's lots of different ones on here. You just got to pick the one that you'd like to use. If you've pick, picked out your particular colour ribbon you'd like to use, you can go for a fairy that matches. I think I quite like that first one. She's quite cute. So I'll click on her. She's got nice sort of pinks and lilacs and lemon in her. She's quite sweet. So I might go for her. Here it says download. Original quality image click here, so I'll click on that. So I'm now downloading the image. I'll just open it. There she is. So I'm going to save her. I've got my own little folder, desktop calls. I've got my own little folder where I save all of my craft images. So she's now saving. And then what I'm going to do, I'll just get off all of this. Right, I've got um, Greeting Card Factory here, and this is the program that I use, I've already got one opened here, to do all of my craft and work on. These, This folder that I've just opened is my, oh hold on, so this, what I've just opened here, this is my, where I make my bottle cap images. I've, dragged a couple to the side. I keep them on here just so I know the correct size for my bottle caps. 
The ones I don't need, I just drag them off to the side, but I always keep them off the page in case I need them in the future. Like someone might ask for, say, this bottle cap image on a bow, so I can come back on here, drag it back onto my page and print it out. So I want the fairy image, so I'm going to go on add items, add a graphic from file. Just wait for that to load. And then I'm going to go to where I saved it, which was on my desktop. And it was under Coles. And these are all the different images that I've saved. So I've just got to scroll through and find that fairy. There she is. Click on her. So I'm going to bring her to the middle. So there she is, and I need to make her the correct size to fit in a bottle cap image this big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on add a custom shape and we're going to go for pie and then if we go on line, I'm going to line it 1.5 for now, but I'm going to fill it with blank. So it's clear in the middle and then that's that gives you an outline. The outline we can have, I think we'll do, I think I'll pick out the lilacs. If we pick a lilac, oh no, sorry, I'm on fill. I want to fill it with plain, go on to line, and I want the line to be lilac. Let's just find the lilac. She's got a few different shades of lilac. I have a nice light one. I'm going to make that outline a little bit bigger. A bit bigger than that as well, because we still can't see it. Five. Actually, we'll keep it on two and a half and see what it come out like. Sometimes when you make it smaller, so I'm just making that circle small and then I'm going to hover that over here to make sure that the size is about right. So I want it a tiny bit smaller. So just put that up in this corner. Tiny little bit smaller. About like that. So that is going to print out the size of my bottle cap image. If you see at the top, it's around, if I move this, around an inch which is about right because the bottle cap is an inch and then my fairy she can go in the middle then we need to size her so that she fits in there I can make her a little bit shorter but I don't want to make her look stumpy Keep altering her slightly little little tiny bits at a time till you're happy that she fits in there. I'm just gonna zoom in on that. Make it bigger so I can see the image better. And I'm just gonna move her over. I'm no computer expert. I only know the very basics, but I've always used this program for my crafts. I'm just going to bring her foot up a little bit. because Like that. So she's in the middle of that circle. I could add a coloured background, but I'm going to keep up to the white because I'm using a white bottle cap image, uh, bottle cap, and I'm going to also use a white pair of wings. I might actually colour the wings. So as you can see, the lilac frame brings out the lilac in her wings. So that is your bottle cap image ready to print. Now you've got your image how you want it. You want to group it. So select the whole thing and then I'm going to group it. That way I can move it around and the whole thing will move, not just the circle or the fairy, so I don't have to line that up again. Now I want to um, 
make a couple of those, so I'll print out a couple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to cut, and then I'm going to paste, paste, paste. So I'll print out three of those next to each other, like that, just in case I cut one out and I make a mistake, or when I stick it on the inside the bottle cap that might tear when I was wet with the glue so I've got a couple of spare ones to fall back on so they're now all ready to print out so I'm going to get my printer ready so the printer I use is a Canon it's a Pixma MG 3650S that's the printer I'm using today I got this printer um, not that long ago but that works for printing on canvas and everything as well so I've got my fairy image all ready to print. So I'm going to go up to this top corner here and I'm going to select print. And I'm going to just go on to preferences. Make sure it's on borderless, it's on photo paper glossy. I don't want that, I want plain paper. And I want, yeah, standard is the only option I've got, so otherwise I would have put it on high quality, but standard is the only option I've got on there, which is fine. A4, yeah, that is. So I'm going to press OK, and then we'll see how they print out. Like I say, I'm no computer expert, but this greeting card factory program, I've been using this a while, I've just gotten used to it, I've sort of self-taught myself on it. And that is the one that I prefer to use for all my crafting, printing out my own fabrics and things like that. So here they are printed out. I'm quite happy with how they look. I've just used a bog standard print and paper, HP print and paper. So I've carefully cut around my fairy image. I've cut around the lilac circle because I wanted to keep that circle on there. And we'll just test it for size. Yep, yeah, that fit in there perfectly. So what you need, I'm going to use this all-purpose glue to stick this into my bottle topper. So I'm just going to remove that lid. I'm going to place the glue inside and just spread that around all the way to the edges. Make sure that's all spread all the way around. And then lay your image into the glue, pushing that down. Pushing it down all at the sides, making sure that's all stuck down into the glue. You don't want the sides lifting up. So just go all the way around, pushing that down. So that's in there like that. Now I'm just going to leave that for around 20 to 30 minutes, just to let that glue mostly dry off. And then I'm going to seal it with Mod Podge. So this has been sitting there now for a little while, drying off. So now we're going to seal it. I've just taken a paintbrush and Mod Podge. This is uh, the gloss one. You could use any really, but I'm using gloss because obviously the glossy accents is a gloss finish. Now this step I've heard is quite important. It's quite important to seal your image before you put on the glossy accents. I think that helps just to prevent the image from fading. So I'm just going to take some Mod Podge, go around that edge and work my way in, making sure that's all covered. Make sure that's all spread evenly.
just do note that Mod Podge goes on white, but that does dry clear. So although that looks a bit of a mess right now, that will dry clear. So now I'll set that aside, wash my paintbrush, and I'll now let that dry for around, that says on here, 15 to 20 minutes between coats. So I'll give that at least 20 minutes now, just to dry, and then we'll come back and try the glossy accents. So I've left that for half an hour for that Mod Podge just to cure a little bit. As you can see, it's got like a glossy finish on there now. I don't know if you can see that in the light a little bit. And I've also added these little pearls. I just looked at it and thought that needs something there. That looks a bit plain. So I've got these. This was like a 99p sheet like of borders in um, my local craft store. So I've just picked off a few of these little tiny pearls and they've already got like a sticky backing because they're meant to be like, if you can see that, they're meant to be like a, a border sticker. But I've just cut them out individually and I've been using them individually on bows and stuff. So I've just, I don't usually rely on this sticky back and I usually would glue these on a bow. But as I'm filling this with glossy accents, I thought I can just stick them onto that topper and then I'll obviously apply the glossy accents over that. I've never done this before, so I'm just completely experimenting here. So I don't know what this is going to turn out like. I thought I'd just give that a try and that just takes the plainness of it and adds a little bit more interest. So here we go. I've also got a pin at the side here because I've heard that sometimes when you first put it in you can have a few bubbles and to pop them while they're still wet. But we'll see. So I'm going to start, I think I'll start around the outside. Yeah, I can see a couple of bubbles already. Like I said, I've never used this before, so I have no idea what the consistency is like or how that works. I'm just going to go over the whole thing, fill in that image, and then I'm just going to use the nozzle a bit more, and I'm going to use the nozzle just to spread that around. Squeeze a little bit more out just to make sure that's all covered. I'm not sure if you should do this in separate layers or just go for it all in one go. I've no idea. Now I can see a couple of bubbles there, so I'm just going to use my pin. Oh, they're not coming out. They're not coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push them to the side and hope that they'll them out. Oh, that one popped. I can't pop them. That's not really. The bubbles are not really popping with the needle. Unfortunately, if anything, they're just splitting and making more bubbles. Can you see that there's a lot of bubbles in there? We just push them all to the edge so they're not so bad. And we'll see how that dry. Can you see that? I've pushed all the bubbles just to that edge. I'm going to lay that on a flat surface to dry so that so that that's gonna level out. Another tip I saw online was to Squeeze the bottle to get rid of any excess glue in the tip. There's not really any in there. And that way that don't clog up so, so much. So hopefully that won't dry out in that tip. So as you can see, I haven't really used that much. Even though it's a tiny bottle, this will probably do a good 20 or so toppers, I, I would say, this little bottle. So for three pounds something, that's not too bad. And like I say, I've never tried it before. This is just an experiment to see how that comes out instead of the epoxy domes. So this has now been left drying for a good 40 minutes or so. And as you can see, I still not fully dry. It's still quite cloudy, so it's not fully dry yet. 
it's nice and glossy and you can still see those bubbles around that edge that like I said are still not fully dry yet so we're going to give that a little bit more time and I'll come back on here later to check up on it so here's the finished bottle cap that's been drying now for about five hours you can still see the bubbles in there around the edge but like I say there's a first time using it so next time the bottle was sort of rolling around a little bit where I was moving it around so I'm going to make sure that that sits for a little while so that um, the bubbles can perhaps the, the, or the liquid can settle in the bottle perhaps I've got some bubbles in it where I was sort of moving it around from the drawer and stuff so I'll try that next time and also I might go for a bolder image because that's quite pale or faded already that image that was already quite pale but yeah I'm pleased with it it's definitely better than the epoxy the domes because obviously if I had the domes I wouldn't have been able to stick these pearls on because the the dome has to sit stick on a dead flat surface so with this stuff you could put dimenties on there or other little embellishments to make something a little bit different so yeah that's the finished bottle cap I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.